Hello, Rob Smith here, uh, the local marketing guy, and I'm going to do a short little video here to show you how to load a photograph to your Google account. And what Google uses is their uh, program called Picasa. So it's online and it's all linked up to your Google account. So it's important to have your Google account on um, and uh, and utilize Picasa. So here I am at Google.com right here at the top nav now this is the new Google you want to click on more as you can see all the different things that are in here scroll down to photos as the computer thinks it's gonna to come to the Picasa album here it is pretty simple I'm not going to go through many details. You can make different photo albums and share them on your websites. It gives you copy paste code to put it on your blogs and you can even put it in your Facebook page, uh, in your fan page for your business. So you can see right here where it says upload, You're right on the top and right underneath the gray bar, upload image. Then you can name the file here and we'll call this. Um, Jolly Good Tours Now oh, let's just change that to Okay and you can put this we want it to be public on the web for this particular but you have your uh, choice here who you want to see it again there's a question mark right here if you have any questions here or uh, concerns just click on that and say continue and I'm going to actually select from the computer, but if you have your desktop, you can pull and drag it right on here. Same thing with YouTube. It makes it very easy. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to say select photos from your computer. Okay. And I am going to choose this image. I want you to pay attention to the file names that I'm saving them as. Uh, there's something called long tail keywords, so they're the words that people might search for them on the web. Uh, just a little hint there when you're saving images loaded anywhere online. So here's their image, and you can add a caption to it. If you want, you can click that, add a caption here, and we could put this. Um, and it can always be edited at any time okay okay now we've created an album so here it is and you could load all your images here and it's a great way to share whether you're in an organization sharing with your graphic designer or just family members you know whether you're using it for business or pleasure um, it's real simple to do. Um, let's load another image here. I want to show you something. Um, and uh, actually, he's asking to create an album. I don't want to create an album. I'm going to backspace that because I decided not to show you that. We could do another video on that. But here's this image. Let's click on it. And it expands. You could uh, edit more here if you want to add a link in here, you know. Um, make I'll put the HTTP in there that way it makes it clickable www. Uh, you don't have to do this but it, you know, more content you put on the web, the easier it is um, your business is found or your images, if that's what your goal is. Save caption. 
Okay, see that? Adding the HTTP there will help it uh, go. So you can add your blog sites. If you have multiple sites, just add it right there. Uh, if people like this image, they can post comments. I want to show you something else here. Add location over on the right-hand side. Let me cancel that here again and show you. So if you look, here's over on the right-hand side. You'll see Aries right here. You could tag people if they're in the photograph if you're linked to them in in here. But we're going to add one a location, and this particular business is located in uh, Loveland, Colorado. Colorado. Um, if you're brick and mortar business, they actually um, uh, it's a uh, they do. I don't believe they have an office uh, at a brick and mortar location so we're just gonna say Loveland Colorado and I'm going to add 80537 the zip code in there okay I'm gonna save but if you have a brick and mortar business and people come to your business add your address in there it will show you right on the Google Maps where it shows up save and there's the Google map right there it shows Loveland Colorado um, keep in mind you could load these images to panorama which that's a uh, um, more of a uh, mapping system that integrates with Google and uh, you can link this photo there's a link here but do you see this right here where it says tags those are searchable terms that people might be looking for you so let's do um, um, I'm going to put coach tours here I'm not going to go through see how it separates the two separate words so when you have a space it's going to separate as the words and we're, let's do Travel, travel agency. Let's add one more here. Um, Ireland, England, helps if I could spell. Let's just focus on um, England and Ireland. Okay, so you'll see here. So these are the keywords, searchable terms. So um, I'm going to add one more for their location. Loveland. Okay, there we go. And you have keywords, and of course, you can post it to your Google accounts here, your blogger account, uh, if you have a Twitter account, link it up there. Uh, what's nice about all of this is if you say click link photo here, here's embed code. If you want to just use this on your website, this this will let you uh, embed it right on there. And of course right here it shows you the different sizes. Um, or if you just want to send a link in the email, that's really nice. Um, up here, if you have multiple pictures, um, uh, there's a, f a slideshow image uh, feature in here, but I'm going to say full screen. You can sh show this full screen, and it makes it really nice to click through the images. Of course, we only, only have one image here. So um, I hope that uh, helped you out. Um, of course, you have your share buttons here. Uh, uh, here's your slideshow right here. So. Um, again, it, it's real simple. There's multiple things we could spend all day. Uh, I wanted to show you a couple of the features and how to upload your images to Picasa, um, which really is very dynamic. And also keep in mind there's the Yahoo version, which is called Flickr. So it's advisable to have that as well. Okay, uh, again, this is Rob Smith, the local marketing guy, and I hope this was of use to you. Thank you.